don't get anything from this report that I didn't know before. But if you look on the next page, you'll see that 50% of the mine was owned by a John Pepper, who was killed while surveying it. That's a great help. After working on this thing for three months, that's all the information you have. Who was this John Pepper? Did he have a family? Somebody must know something about it. A man owning 50% of a mine must have left it to someone. Find them. But, J.A. I've got to have the other 50% of this mine before the 15th of next month if we expect to start operations. Yes, sir. I understand. Polly, Polly! What's the matter, Francie? Polly isn't here. Well, she must have gotten up early and gone downstairs. No, Mommy, I waked up in the middle of the night and she wasn't here. And I waited and waited. Oh, you were dreaming, baby. She's probably downstairs trying to save me some work. Can I pull my new shoes? Oh, goodness, no. They're for church and very special days. But this is a very special day at church. It's my what? Oh, nothing. Oh, well, I will put them on. Sleep here all night. Mm, I guess I must have. Who covered me up? Well, I did. You were snoring so hard you woke me up. Look, I finished it. Oh, good. Shh, is Mommy awake? Yes, ma'am. We better hide it up here until she leaves. Come on, Fonzie, now you wake up the boys. Davy, wake up. Let me alone, I'm cold. Wake up, Joey. I want you to come with me to deliver the dress. Gee, I almost forgot. Are we going to have Mom's birthday cake? Yes, if you'll hurry up and get dressed. And be careful, don't any of you give the secret away. Hurry up, boys. Here, Francie. Thank you. Well, here it is. Just another old day like all the rest of them. Yep, potatoes, bread, molasses. Now, you mustn't fuss. Some children don't have that much. We're not fussing. We were just saying... If you finished, how about carrying in some wood? Well, I can't. I'm going with you Carry to... Carry in some wood. Well, I must hurry. Can I walk to the class you, Mommy? Yes, dear. Have a good day, won't you, children? Do all your chores so everything will be all done by the time I come home tonight. Goodbye. Bye, Mommy. Bye. 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 Come on, Francie. Come on. Bye, Mom. Bye, Mom. Bye, Bye Mommy. Joey Pepper, I could choke you. Why? What'd I do? Here it is, just another old day like the rest of them. Ha <laughs> ha, that's to fool her so she wouldn't think it was her birthday. All right. Go upstairs and get the dress, Ben. I'll need flour. Flour and... Ain't the cake gonna have anything but flour in it? Couldn't you use the raisins Mom was saving for the pudding? Of course, there's a whole cup full. a few every day. Never thought the cup would get empty so quick. Oh, never mind. We can use cinnamon. It tastes just as good. 
Here's the dress, Polly. I won't be gone long. Meantime, you and David get the stove started. What if it don't work? Oh, it'll work today. I'll make it work. Hurry up, Joey. <laughs> Hoist anchor! Aye, aye, sir! Shove off! Good morning. I'm Polly Pepper. I have a dress here for Mrs. Peters. It's a dollar and a half. Mrs. Peters ain't home. She's working at Mr. King's place. Be back late tonight. I'll give her the dress, and she'll send the money over to your mom. Please, lady, give the dress back to me. Yeah, we'll take it up to her ourselves and get the money. Don't bother me now. I'm busy. Go away. Go away. Let's go find Miss Peters at King's Place. It's a big house on the hill. We can't. We haven't got the dress. Wait a minute. I've got an idea. What? You shove off as hard and as fast as you can and then jump on quick. What are you going to do? You'll see. Hoist the sail. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Take it in the rear. Yes, sir. Polly! Look at that cake! Gee, I wish I could bake one like that. Come on, let's see Mrs. Peters. with you? You know your grandfather doesn't allow you to leave the place. Now talk slower. Just what do you want? We'd like to see Mrs. Peters. Oh, she's working over at Mr. King's townhouse. Come on, let's hurry over there. Land sakes, child. That's more than 60 miles away. Oh. What are we going to do now? I guess Mommy won't have her birthday cake after all. <laughs> Jasper, you're in the way. Educating that boy in Europe didn't teach him to stay out of the kitchen when everybody's busy. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sorry. I didn't know anyone was sitting here. <laughs> well, you don't have to cry about it. I didn't mean to hurt you. He wasn't crying about that. He was crying. Well, he was just crying. What about? Because Miss Peters ain't here, and we ain't got the money to buy the flour that Polly was going to bake the cake with. Who's Polly? <laughs> I am. He's my brother. I sold a dress for Mrs. Peters, and she was going to pay me a dollar and a half for it. And I was going to buy some flour to <laughs> bake Mother a cake. Because and... this is her birthday. Now Mrs. Peters isn't here. 
We can't get the doll and a half. I see. Wait here a minute. I'll get the doll and a half for you. Oh, Miss Mary, would you please lend me a dollar and a half? A dollar and a half? Yes, it's very important that I get it. Oh, please, Jasper, don't bother me. I'm busy. Did you get it? No. But, uh, all you need is flour and things to bake a cake with. Well, I'm sure I can manage that. How? Come with me. Well, there you are. Could we have some raisins, too? On account of I ate up all we had, except three. Oh, sure you can have raisins. Now your mommy can have a cake after all. Maybe we shouldn't take all these things without paying for them. Oh, well, that's all right. You take it, and when you get the money for the dress, you can pay me. Then it won't be like you were taking it for nothing. That's just like the grocery man did when he used to trust us. Are you sure it's all right? Oh, I'm positive. Don't you see? We have plenty. Sure have. Uh, do you live far from here? I thought I might get Tom to drive you home. No, thanks. We can get home all right. Yeah, we've got our boat, and it goes like a whiz. Boat? What kind of a boat? Come on, we'll show you. There it is. Say, that's all right. Does this really catch the wind? Sure it does. Sometimes on a windy day, it'll do as much as 10 miles an hour. Gee, I'd like to try it sometime. Well, uh, would you like to try it now? It'll hold three. Yes, but with all this stuff... Uh... Well, I can sit on the floor and hold the eggs. All right, and I'll hop on when we get going. Oh, uh, say, I'll be right back. Here, you can keep this. I got a new one. What's that? Push the button. Oh, give it to me and I'll put it on here. Say, can I raise the sail? Sure you can. All aboard. Board. Shove off! Shove on! Stove again. Can't you stop it? Oh, I can't face it. The hole's bigger than ever. Oh, Ben, this is Jasper. Oh. I didn't get the money from Mrs. Peters, but I got the things to bake the cake well, with. Well, you'll never get it baked unless we get the stove fixed. Well, haven't you got something to plug it with? Well, there's some putty over there, but it only holds for a minute. Well, come on, let's find something to repair it. Where'd 
Where'd you learn to be an inventor? Our daddy was one. He was a mining engineer. It's the same thing. He invented a mine, didn't he? Don't be stupid, Joey. He didn't invent it. He discovered it. Does he still have it? Well, he was the only one that believed in the mine, and and one day while surveying it, it, it caved in, and he was caught in a slide. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I guess I better get some more wood. Who wants to scrape the ball? I do. I do, too. You get some spoons, and here, Fonzie, you get the mix. Now, don't anybody jump around while the cake's in the stove. I wish with all your might that it turns out to be good. Well, I wish for a kitty, but I didn't get it. Maybe you didn't wish hard enough. I'm having a birthday party tonight, too. Was that big cake we saw at the house for you? Gee, it was a beauty. Well, the one Polly's making for your mother will be just as good. Well, I better be getting back. Are you coming back to see us again? Well, I'd like to. Well, we'd like to have you. Thanks a million for fixing the stove. Oh, well, that's all right. We're going to get a new home get rich, won't we, Polly? Well, goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, just a minute. Uh, happy birthday. Say, he's got a million flowers in his yard. You saw him? Yes, but I'd rather have these. Thanks a lot. Goodbye. Bye. Come on, please. What a wonderful surprise. And that cake. Where did you get it? I baked it. I hope it's good. Oh, I know it will be. It's kind of sagged in the middle, but you can't see it with the flowers on. See? Clabbermouth. Isn't it time to get Mommy the present? Not yet, Fonzie. Oh, all right. You keep the first piece, Mommy. Oh, yes. It's so long since I had a birthday cake that I'd forgotten. Cut me a big piece, Mom. Not too big or there won't be any left for me. Where did you ever learn to make such a delicious cake? I'm going to have another piece. Won't you have some more, Ben? Oh, sure I will. I blow out the candles now, Grand? Candles? What candles? Oh, yes. Go right ahead, Jasper. Blow them out. Shall I cut it? What? Yes, go right ahead. You know, sir, somebody else I know is having a birthday cake today. They didn't have the money. But... What in the world are you talking about? Well, sir. There's an awfully poor family, and Polly, she's one of the children. She sewed a dress for Mrs. Peters, who works for you sometimes. And, well, they came here to see her, but she wasn't here. And they had to have flour and things to bake their mother's birthday cake with. She's having a birthday party tonight, too. So, well, I gave them the things out of the pantry. I didn't think you'd mind. And, and gee, I don't know if Polly was even able to bake the cake. You see, they got an old wood stove, and was broken, so I tried to fix it. 
You mean you went over to their home? Yes, sir. I know you don't want me ever to leave the grounds, but... But, gee, they were so nice, and... Well, I had to help them carry the things home. You see, Polly keeps house on account of Mrs. Pepper's working. What'd you say the name was? Pepper. What does Mr. Pepper do? Oh, sir, he's... he's dead. He was killed in a mine. I think he was some kind of a mining engineer. You'll be a good little girl while I'm gone, won't you? I won't let her out of my sight. I'll only be gone for a few days and I'll, I'll be thinking of you every minute. But, Mom, why do you have to go to the factory to work? You always did your work at home before. Well, they don't give it out at home anymore, so... Well, in case you want me, I'll be at the factory at Crestville. Goodbye. I'll take it to the bus for you. No, never mind, it isn't heavy. Don't work too hard. Don't forget to write. Look at you, crying. I ain't crying. Digging worms. Well, the ones we dug. Over there. Look, there's Jasper. What you doing? Digging worms. Going fishing? No, nope, we're just digging them. Look, here's three in here. One's asleep. <laughs> what you got there? Something for Phronsie. That's me. What is it? I can't. Mm. I kind of I wished for it. That's right. Ha, can I have him for keeps? Uh-huh. I'm going to get him a bath. You don't bathe cats. They wash themselves. What's this? It's for Polly. Polly! Come on, do a Jasper for you. Polly! Hello. Hello, Jasper. It's for you, Polly. For me? Can't sing. Well, I thought you'd like to have it. We've got lots of them. Can't sing. Hello. Hello, Ben. Look at Jasper brought for Polly. Can't sing. Where are you going to put it? In our room so we can hear it sing at a time. Well, uh, it really should be kept outside in the daytime. Say, there's a hook on the front porch right near the window. I put it in there once to hang up a rope. Come on, I'll show you. There it is. Yeah, give it to me. I'll hang it up. Excuse me. Oh, Grant, I didn't think you'd mind me coming over here to play after how interested you were last night when I told you about them. Jasper, who's a man? This is my grandfather. This is Phronsie, David, Joey, Ben. Oh, and this is Polly. This is my grandfather, Polly. How do you do? So you're Polly. Jasper told me about you. Can he tell you about me? Phronsie, don't ask so many questions. Uh, won't you come into the house? Yes, thanks. Won't you sit down, Mr. King? That's the stove I was telling you about, Grant. Jasper, fix the 
so wouldn't smoke. That is not a whole lot. He's an inventor. Our dad was the inventor, too. Please, children, Mr. King isn't interested. Oh, but I am. I'd like to hear more about your daddy. But first, what do you say we all have some ice cream? Ice cream? Oh, yeah. oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here, Jasper, you take the children out and buy them some ice cream. And bring some back for Polly. Gee, Grant, you're swell. Jasper was telling me that your mother's working and that you take care of the children and run the house. Yes, sir, but it's really nothing at all. He also said something about your father being a mining engineer. Well, he was part owner in a copper mine, and, and one day while surveying it, well, something happened and it collapsed. Mm, that's too bad. I suppose your mother owns his share of the mine now. Did she ever think of selling it? No, you see, it was left to me. Oh, I see. I don't suppose it's worth very much. I don't know. Uh, Mr. Townsend called on us not long ago. He wanted to buy it. To sell it? No. I wanted to so Mommy wouldn't have to work anymore and we could move to a nicer house, but she didn't want me to on account of Daddy said I should keep it till I'm 18. Why until you're 18? Well, he was the only one that believed there was any copper in the mine, and, and well, I guess he thought that if I didn't sell it till I was 18, I wouldn't after that. Oh, I see. Well, will you excuse me now? I have to get some wood to start the fire and prepare dinner. Oh, I'll go right ahead. Oh, wait a minute. Where do you keep the wood? Oh, just outside in the yard. I'll get it. Oh, no, thank you. I, I can get it all right. Oh, I want to. Excuse me, Polly. Thank you. It worked all right last night. Uh, what's needed here is a new stove. Mommy says we can have one when we get rid. Uh, come along, Jasper. Oh, can't I stay, Graham? I got my bike here. Uh, no, you better come along. You can see the children again. You mean I can come over here whenever I want to? Yes, yes. Goodbye, children. Goodbye, Goodbye. 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 Yes, very nice. But awfully poor. Polly's especially nice, don't you think so? Yes, lovely girl. Regular little mother. Too bad that stove's broken again. If they had a new stove, they'd be awfully happy. They could use a new stove. They sure could. I sure it's rough, mister. This is the pepper house. The stove's for them. Polly! Polly! He's the stove! Stove, and it's for us. Stove? We didn't order any stove. Oh, gee. What's the matter? Look, Graham. They're delivering the stove before we got there. Jasper, we got a new stove. Now you can throw the old stove away. We're awfully sorry about the surprise. Surprise? Yeah, Graham meant that stove to be a surprise. Oh, but I... Oh, you shouldn't have done it. Oh, nothing at all. Nothing at all. The old one wouldn't work, so I bought that one for you. Oh, but, sir, I... Hey, kids, does this stove belong here, don't it? Of course it does. Take it right in. Oh, boy! Oh, oh look, Polly, look! I know. Oh, boy! Oh, boy! Oh, boy! Oh, boy! Give him that, Fury. Look at that. Look at that oven, Polly. Oh, Watch oh, yourself, there, kids. Oh, boy. Um, hurry up, Polly. I'm hungry. You like beans, Mr. King? Huh? Oh, yes, yes. Nothing like beans. Of course, they're not on my diet. Diet? Uh, my doctor told me not to eat beans. Oh, that's all right, Mr. King. We won't tell your doctor. Mm, doesn't that smell good? <laughs> Never smelled anything like it. Me first, Polly. Why, Phronsie, where are your manners? Don't you know Mr. King gets served first? Oh. There. Go right ahead, Mr. King. Don't wait for us.
don't know and dress May thy slumber be blessed That was lovely, Polly. You almost sang me to sleep. Polly. Yes, dear? My head hurts. Does it? Yes. Well, you've got a fever. Polly will put you right to bed. What is it, Doctor? Measles. Measles? Nothing to worry about. Look! Look, I got them, too! You think you got them? Gee, look at mine. They're all over me. Better put them to bed, too, and keep them warm. Yes, sir. I'll drop in sometime in the morning. Good night. Good night. Good night, Mr. King. My car's out front. Can I drop you off anywhere? I'm sorry, Mr. King, but you and your grandson can't leave here. Can't leave? I have to quarantine the house. Quarantine measles? Ridiculous. Perhaps. But I'd advise you not to take your grandson out of the house. If he has already contracted measles, it would be unwise to expose him to the night air. Sometimes it takes several days before they show up. I'm doing this for your protection. Thanks. Good night. Oh, uh, would you mind telling my chauffeur to bring me over some fresh linen? Be glad to. Ben, would you please put the boys to bed? All right. Come on. Look, Joey, mine are bigger than yours. They are not. Look at this one. Ah, oh, Joey. Mr. King will be staying here for a few days. He wants you to bring some fresh linen over to him in the morning. Okay. Tell my daddy another story. Oh, please, please go to sleep. No, you got to tell my daddy another story. Now, look, if you think I'm going to sit here at 3 o'clock in the morning telling your doll a story, you're... Oh, oh please, just little. All right. Once upon a time... There was a father goat, and he had five little goats. Was the father goat a little goat or a big goat? He was a big goat. I know the big goat. Who? You. You're right. Oh, I were the five little goats. Yes. So the, the big goat said to the little goat, you're very, very tired. So please, go to sleep. King, you, you got him. Big spots on your face. Oh, go back to sleep. Oh, I guess I must have dreamed you had the measles. <laughs> Just a minute. 
Shall I make you some more? More? I haven't eaten these things in ten years. My doctor said they'd kill me if I did. Well, they haven't killed me yet. I don't think they're going to. Do you want me to wait? Of course. Mr. King, stop. Stop, stop what? Stop eating those hot cakes. They're not in your diet. You're not allowed to eat them. They're not good for you. They're the best things I've ever tasted. Make some more, Polly, huh? Good thing I brought your pills, sir. Pills? That's what's the matter with me. I'm full of pills. But no more, Martin. After this, I'm going to eat what I like. You're not serious, sir. I'm not, eh? You know what I had last night, Martin? No, sir. Beans. Beans, millions of them. And flapjacks. <clears throat> this is my second stack, and Polly's making me a third. Martin, I never felt better in my life. Yes, sir. Aren't you coming home, sir? Grant, yeah, the place is quarantined. Besides, I don't mind it at all. Polly! All right, I'm coming. Mr. Barker phoned last night. He said he hadn't been able to get all the information he was after, but that Mr. Townsend of the Amalgamated Mining Corporation was also trying to buy the other half of the mine. I told him it wasn't quite clear to me, but he said you'd understand. Would you like some flapjacks and coffee? No. Uh, uh, thanks. Now Ben's got the measles. But Jasper's still all right. Perhaps I'd better take Jasper home with me. Can't. The doctor won't allow it. Just tell Barker not to worry about Townsend. Yes, sir. Wait a minute. Take these with you. Yes, sir. Jasper, will you heat some more water, please? Sure. Polly. Polly, please rub my back. But Joey, dear, I've already rubbed it four times. Yeah, I know, but it needs more rubbing. All right, I'll be right back. See, Graham, she's awfully tired. She can hardly stand on her feet. Polly, I want you to get right to bed. I, I'd like to, but I can't. Polly! should send for your mother. Oh, no. She'd get terribly worried. And besides, I can manage you, all right. Mr. King, I wondered if you had any messages. What's the matter, Polly? Oh, I'm all right. 
Well, do something. Get a nurse. Get a hold of Dr. Emery and tell him to get here as fast as he can. Phone the overall factory at Crestville and have her mother come home at once. Yes, at once. See that she gets good food, plenty of rest, and quiet. And I'd suggest you get her out of here. A hospital? Any place, as long as you get her away from here. What did the doctor say? Only a temporary condition. But he suggests that she be moved from here. To a, a hospital? Well, that's what he meant. But I think it'd be kind of lonesome for her away from the family. Maybe you all better come over to my place, huh? Oh, why, why, we couldn't, that would be imposing. Not at all, there's plenty of room. And besides the children, it'd be good company for Jasper. Well, if, if you think it's best... Of course I do, and I'll make all arrangements at once. Oh, thank you. Your office has just phoned again. I'm not in. I'm gone. Tell him anything. I don't want to talk to anybody. But you haven't been to the office for two weeks, sir. Yeah, I'm not going for two more, maybe ten. Ah, oh, Martin, this is the life. I feel like a two-year-old. Why, I just ran a race like one. <laughs> <laughs> There's Dr. Emery. Hello, Doctor. Are you going to make pie roll today? Will she be able to see again, Doctor? Oh, don't ask so many questions. Will she be all right, Doctor? She's going to be fine. Well, J.H., I never saw you looking better. Never felt better in my life. That's because I stopped taking those pills you prescribed for me. <laughs> How's the little patient? Fine, fine. Do you think I'll ever be able to see again? Of course you will. Doctor will be here this afternoon and he'll remove the bandage and you'll be able to see as good as ever. What's that? It's a book I've been reading. You've been praying again, haven't you, Mommy? Children, you stay here and play while we go up and see Polly.
Aren't you going to leave it off, Doctor? Not yet, my dear. Perhaps in a week or so. That means I'll... I'll never be able to see again, will I? Mommy! Yes, darling? Mommy, I'm blind! No, you'll be all right. Oh, Mommy. Holly's crying. Oh, Mommy. There's nothing more medicine can do. We'll just have to wait. Mr. Barker, sir. Good evening, J.H. Well, I found them. Found who? John Pepper's family. And where do you think they live? Right near here, under my very nose. I didn't find out late this afternoon. I'll call on them the first thing in the morning. Now, J.H., what do you think I ought to offer them for their half interest in the mine? From what I understand, they're very poor, and with proper handling, we should be able to get it from them for a song. Uh, suppose I start with a thousand dollars. No. Well, naturally, I'll try to get it as cheaply as I can. Uh, say I offer them 500. No, I don't want it. Uh, you don't want it? That's what I said. But you were so anxious to close I it. I know I did, but I've changed my mind. That's all. Good night, Marker. Hmm. Good night. something? Uh-huh. I forgot to say my prayers. Well, why didn't you say them when you remembered? Because I want to pray that Polly can see when they take the things off her eyes. I just didn't know how. Well, why did you come down here? So you, so you can say them with me. All right. Let's start. Now I lay me down to sleep. I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. And please help Dr. Emery make my sister Polly's eyes well again. And bless the nice Mr. King from being so good to Mommy, Polly, Ben, Davy, Joey, and me. Amen. How much longer do you think it'll be? Oh, any minute now. Doctor's been up there half an hour. Look! There she is! Are you all right, Polly? Are you all right? Polly! Polly! Are you all right? Children, don't get so excited. She's all right. Oh, boy. Thanks to Mr. King. You children show Polly about the grounds. We want to talk to Dr. Emery. Well, let's show Polly the turtle. Okay, that's a smart idea. Come on, Polly. Gee, Polly. Oh, you never saw such a turtle. Hello. Hello. Who are you? Is Mr. King home? Yes. Come on, I'll take you too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you must be one of the Peppers. I am. I'm Francie. Mm. There's a whole lot of us Peppers. <laughs> 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 You two better train your turtle some more. I bet mine will win the next time. I know how to train mine. I'm going to go get my bath. Me too. It's a lot of fun, isn't it, Polly? Well, would you like to feed the winner? Mm hmm I'll go get some food. Come on, Ben. Okay. Mr. King, two gentlemen to see you. Bye, Doctor. Bye, J.H. 
Mrs. Pepper? Goodbye, many thanks. You'll excuse me. Certainly. Come on, Francie. You want to see me, Townsend? Yes, I'd like to have a little talk with you, J.H. Step over here where we can sit down. How have you been? Look here, Townsend. You didn't come here to inquire about my health. What's on your mind? Hey. Have a cigar. Uh, when I smoke, I smoke a pipe. I didn't know the peppers were related to you. Hmm, a lot of things you don't know. You're right. And one of them is that you go so far as to move a family into your house so you can get their shares of the mine. Were you afraid that somebody else was trying to buy it from them? <laughs> you weren't by any chance trying to buy it for your company, were you? <laughs> well, I must admit, J.H., pretty clever to bring them here to avoid competitive bidding so you could get their holdings at your own price. Now, see here, Townsend. I will admit my intention at first was to get their share for as little as possible. But I feel differently about it now. You say I'm trying to avoid competitive bidding. All right, the bidding's open. I'm going to see that the family get every dollar their holding's worth, even more than it's worth. Go right ahead and bid for it. And whatever your company offers, I'll raise it $25,000. All right, dear, we'll leave if you want to. But I still can't believe Mr. King did all this just for the reason you say. But he didn't deny when the other men accused him of it. This is what he wants. He can have it. Oh, Mommy, let me get out of here. I don't want to stay here. All right, Polly. <laughs> Oh, Mommy. All right. <laughs> My dolls are all ready to go, but I don't want to go. Ben, why do we have to go back home? Oh, just because. Well, gee, Wellikers, just because ain't no excuse. Come in. What's all this about? We're leaving. Leaving? Yes, sir, we're leaving. Here's my share of the mine. That's what you wanted, isn't it? I hope it pays you back for everything you've done for us. I heard what you said today. Come on, Mr. King, why are we leaving? I don't know, honey. Now I'm all mixed up. Bye. Jasper. Hello, Mrs. Pepper. Does your grandfather know you came here? Yes, ma'am. He sent me. Oh, here, Polly. He told me to give this to you. I don't want it. Polly, my grand isn't mean. I found out what it was all about. You see, you didn't give him a chance to explain. I heard what the man said. Yes, I know. Grant told me all about it. He wants you and your mother and all the rest to come over to our house. He's got something very important to tell you. Uh, our car's waiting outside. Please, Mrs. Pepper, won't you come over and see Gran? Polly, I, I do think we ought to give Mr. King a chance to explain. All right. Run along, children, and change your clothes. And don't forget to wash. Oh, gee, Mommy, I washed dirty this morning. I ain't dirty yet. Oh, yes, you are. Look at your ear. I can't. Run along now and change your clothes. Hurry up. At first, I did want to get your share of the mine any way I could. But after I got to know all of you, well, I didn't feel that way about it. The few weeks you've spent with me has given me one of the greatest pleasures of my life. Mr. Townsend's company also wanted to buy your share. 
But I told them, no matter what they offered, I'd pay $25,000 more. What's this? A check for $75,000. $75,000? Townsend's company offered $50,000. Well, if I don't take the check, would that mean I'd be your partner? Yes, but that's a lot of money. And you can do so much good for yourself. And the family, too. Well, would you mind terribly if I'd rather be your partner? Mind? I'd love it. Oh, why? Not only that, I'd like to have you all make your home here with me. Oh, but we couldn't. Please, Mommy, let's. Can't we stay here? Do your gramps swell? Can I be your partner, too? You bet. You're going to be my junior partner. Is that good? 